Hey guys, using breakaway glass in stunts can still be dangerous. So for your own safety and those around you, do not attempt any of the stunts seen in this video. Cinecom cannot be held responsible for any injuries when reenacting or recreating the activities seen in this episode. Hey, Jordy here for Cinecom.net. And did you ever wanted to break a piece of glass onto your friends? I mean, for a movie, of course. Well, that's super dangerous. Unless... Today we're going to show you how you can make your own sugar glass. When you see a bottle being used in a movie fight, it's 99% of the time breakaway glass. Sugar glass or breakaway glass is a wide used VFX prop. Back in the days, they used a transparent form of sugar that resembles glass and breaks much easier. Nowadays, they use a sort of resin to create breakaway glass, because the process is much faster and easier. However, we tried to recreate breakaway glass with sugar, because we had some laying around. So without hesitation we started cooking, because all you need to do is melt some sugar. Now guess what? We failed. Big time. But no worries, we did some research and we found out we had to prevent crystallization of the sugar when melting it. With this small bottle filled with tartaric acid we made a mixture of sugar and acid. Melted it and now we are ready to create the perfect sugar glass. At least we thought so. Back to the cooking board. What did you do? He burnt himself. No. After some extra research, we found a special kind of sugar called isomalt. It has a much lower melting point than regular sugar, making it much easier to create sugar glass with. Also, it has a great property to resist crystallization and doesn't need to be measured or mixed. You can melt it right away. So how to start? First, grind up your isomalt. This isn't mandatory but will make the melting process much smoother and faster. Step 2. Melt your isomalt slowly around a temperature of 170 degrees celsius. Don't go too hot because your sugar will become yellowish and even brown. Now a big tip to remove the air bubbles in the sugar, pour the liquid sugar in a stainless steel pitcher and place it in a 150 degrees preheated oven and let it rest for 15 minutes. This process will remove the bubbles and keep the sugar liquid. The next step will be pouring it into something to create a plate. And out our newly found experience with sugar glass, we knew that it was super sticky when in a solid state. So we bought a silicon coated mold, because silicon has a non-sticky property. In this mold we could then pour the liquid sugar and create the perfect sugar glass. Now, what if you don't have the time to create sugar glass? Well, Storyblocks, today's sponsor, will help you save time without sacrificing on quality. They have a ton of stock clips perfect for visual effects, including breaking glass. In their ever-growing library with over 1 million high-quality stock assets, we always find something we need. Whether those are stock clips in HD or 4K resolution, specific genres like nature or animal shots, template packs for Premiere Pro, or pre-made animations for After Effects. Storyblocks make makes it easy to be a creator. They often help us to create next level VFX by providing overlay effects such as dust particles or lightning effects. You can download as much as you want with the unlimited all access plan, including music and sound effects. Definitely check it out, there's an affordable plan for everyone's needs. Go straight to storyblocks.com slash Cinecom or simply click the first link in the description below. Guess what, our plate still sticks and our glass broke. And even worse, our time is running out to test some more stuff. So as a quick fix, we use this lubricated aluminum foil in our mold so we can pour the sugar on that. This removed the sticky problem, but sadly left us with some wrinkles. However, our glass was usable and we were ready to shoot. Hold on, now before you start commenting, damn that's ugly glass. We eventually found a method to create the perfect breakaway glass, however that was after we shot our entire sketch. We used the same melting principle, but we made a custom silicon bolt that doesn't stick, plus it's super smooth. So let me present you our best breakaway glass ever.
So here it is guys, the best piece yet. It's super smooth, super clear, and I had to cut it out from the larger mold because not everything was usable. But here it is, I'm super happy with the result and we should have gotten this way earlier when we were shooting the fighting scene actually. Jordy, catch! Oh, Janik! Damn it! Damn it, Janik! Now the idea is to make a fighting scene where the sugar glass is a prop. Now unfortunately it's taking a whole lot more time than we initially thought and we do want to add some visual effects in that fighting scene as well. So uh, we're gonna need to call in some help. And I know just a guy. Fake phone call coming in. Hey Flo, it's me, Jordy. Oh hi Jordy, you called just the right guy. I am a visual effects supervisor and have worked on many shows, movies and commercials. So I'm used to super tight deadlines. But I have an awesome idea in my head to finish the fight scene. For that we may need every trick in my visual effects box. How about flying out the window through the glass at the end? You crash down the entire building and slam down on the roof of your car and shatter all the windows. All in one take and super safe. Hey, and super easy to recreate. Now off to Cinecom. Okay, our VFX is settled. Now let's create some different glass props and build a set. We need to fake a sunlight indoor, so what better light to do that with than the 1200D Pro from Aperture. This light is so powerful. Okay, so I don't think that I need stitches. I'm fine, but that was very dangerous. And I think that we came to a conclusion that this is no longer a tutorial, but more of a, hey, look guys, what stupid stuff that we're doing right now. That was completely irresponsible and dangerous. Don't do this at home. We have a cool bonus tip for you guys. Hitting someone with a chair. Again, safety disclaimer, don't just hit somebody with a chair. Just don't. Only do it in a controlled environment while wearing protective gear. So we first gave Jordi a protective backplate. Because we are going to hit him on his back and this is actually a motorcycle backplate so it's super sturdy. Then we made our chair super weak by almost cutting the legs off. So basically the chair is being held together by small parts of wood. If you then take the chair and hit somebody with it under protective gear of course, it will break super easily and won't hurt your victim. Again. Be careful, don't hit a chair on somebody's head and always wear protective gear. So Flo from Flow Motion, welcome to Cinecom. I heard you do VFX. Yeah, totally right. Thanks for the invitation. Yes, I'm doing visual effects on my YouTube channel, you know, green screen stuff. You mean blue screen? Blue screen? You said blue screen? You have so many blue stuff within you. Are you talking about my eyes? I'm not talking about eyes, it's blue screen. Did you just break my glass? It was broken anyways. Look at the table, there's whiskey everywhere. Take that! What? Are you gonna kill me with flowers? No, not the expensive face! Don't do it! No! Ah, damn it, flow my back! And all of that because of a stupid blue screen? It's green screen! Damn it! That was Italian! That was an expensive Italian table! Oh yeah, it doesn't need a key. Ah, damn it! Is that all you got? Come on! Well, come you on! Threw flowers at me, okay! Florian, damn it, man. That was an Italian window as well. Ah, that really hurts. Ah, come on. 
Oh, oh, that is how you can make your own fighting scene, guys. Definitely don't do this at home. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you Flow Motion for helping us out on this final shot. Definitely check out his tutorial link in the description down below. And thank you Storyblocks for the support as well on this video. And now I'm gonna repair my back, my head and everything else. Stay creative guys. Oh yeah, check the video here on my left.